Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. Hope you all are guys doing good. And today in this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Roblox network lag, high ping and packet loss. So if you are having any similar issues, then I will be sharing four effective solutions that you need to apply one by one. And you will find that the lagging ping and the packet loss issues has been fixed. In the first step, you have to create an exception for the Roblox game from your Windows firewall. So click on the search box, type here Defender. And then from the suggestion, choose Windows Defender Firewall. Now here from the left in menu option, click on Advanced Settings. Another box will be up. Here from the left hand side, click on Inbound Rules. And then from the right hand side, click on New Rule. Here you have to choose the option of port, then click on next, then choose UDP and here in the box type 49152 hyphen that is minus sign 65535. You will also get this port number in the description. Then click next. This should be checked to allow the connection and then click next again. Make sure that all these three options are checked, then hit next again. And now you can name it as like Roblox or fix Roblox ping. OK, and in the description, you can write more so that you can quickly understand that why exactly you created this rule and then click on finish. Once you are done, you have to close this box. And now in the next step, you have to disable all the background application. These background application run in the background. They occupy a lot of bandwidth in the background. Also a lot of high memory in the CPU usage. And this result to both your lagging issues and even the high ping. So on Windows 10, it's very easy. You can click on the search box at the left hand corner. Then you can type background apps. And after that, you can toggle off so that it can disable all the background application or you can manually disable all the application. But on Windows 11, it's really complicated. So what you have to do, I will be sharing the method through which you can uh, disable it. So click on the search box, type here gpedit.msc. From the suggestion, choose edit group policy. Now, in case if you are not able to open group policy editor, then I have already created a video. You can check the link in the description. Now here under computer configuration, click on administrative templates. Then click on Windows components. And then click on app privacy. Now here on the right hand side, you will find let Windows app run in the background. Double click on it. This will bring up the another box here. It should be checked to not configured. You have to select to enabled and below where it says default for all apps. You have to click on the drop down and choose force deny. Then you have to click on apply and then click on OK. And now you can close this box. And now in the next step, click on the search box type CMD and from the right hand option, choose run as administrator. Click on yes. The black window will be coming up here. You have to type few command that is IP config space plus DNS. Hit enter. And the next command will be NETSH win talk reset. Hit enter again. And this will ask you to restart the computer. But we have to complete one more step and then finally you can restart your computer. Now, don't worry about the command. These command you will also find in the description. OK, now you can close it. Now click on the search box again. Type here NCPA dot CPL and then hit enter. Now here you will find your connections type through which you are connected. All kind of Internet connection adapters. So let's say if you are connected with Wi-Fi, then you have to look for the Wi-Fi. I'm connected with Ethernet, so I will do the same process on Ethernet. Right click and then choose properties. Then double click on Internet Protocol version 4. 
and here you will find obtain dna server address automatically you need to check the option of use the following dna server address click on it and here we will use google dna server address so in the preferred dns type 8 8 8 and 8 and in the alternate type 8 8 and 4 and 4 then click ok and ok again now simply restart your computer restart your router or through whichever you are connected to and after that open roblox i'm very sure that you will find that your lagging issues has been resolved your ping issues has also been fixed and now your ping has been reduced and you will see a lot of improvement so that's all guys for today hopefully this video will help you to quickly fix all these problems and if you found this helpful please consider subscribing to the channel like the video and i will see you in the next session bye bye